Hello again, welcome back. Daily Run, Eve. Eve used to be a, a favourite of mine. I think Eve was the first character that I beat um, Satan with. It was a... It was a Ludovico Brimstone run, which we've seen on a daily. It's the one where you have a big circle of brimstone that's going absolutely batshit. Uh, I think we'll take this. Despite the damage. Get out. Good. Uh, it's not kept us in Horror Babylon state. Now, okay. <laughs> Last time we did an Eve run, it lasted all of two minutes and wasn't very good. Because I didn't realise that the Razor Blade did a full heart of... Uh, damage to you. Now that we know this, we can accommodate it and work around it. So I'm not going to do myself any damage until absolutely necessary because the Horror Babylon state, while valuable, uh, involves us being at one red HP max. Uh, and I don't think we need to be there because, well, <laughs> there's some bad damage already. Uh, Eve. <sighs> Eve starts off with low damage. I think the idea is that you get into that Horror Babylon state ASAP and um, do all your damage as a result. But, well, we picked up... Excuse me, careful. We picked up the, uh, the SMB Superfan there, which is an all-stats upgrade, which gave us HP. Um, so now we're at three. So I think what we're going to try and do... Or even more. We should probably take it. What we should try and do is keep our H keep our head above the water on HP. Um, not s sweat the idea that we need to do Horror of Babylon damage. We've already got the damage upgrade from SMB Superfan, which is not one of the best uh, damage upgrades from an all-stat upgrades in the game, but it is nevertheless more damage than we had. And therefore, um, I don't really need GB bugs. I'm not going to keep it. Uh, and what we can do... Is try and sell our HP to deal with the devil. I am aware that there is a tinter drop right here. Oh, that was really stupid. Maybe we won't be doing the deal with the devil thing <laughs> anymore. Careful, spiders. Um, okay. How do we do this? We keep going without this tinter drop until we find the boss. There we go. The boss is here. Then we hope that we get a deal with the devil. Well, okay. we should take this tinter drop now. Let's do it now. I'm rethinking this as we go along. You might be able to tell. Ooh, right. We have a Spirit Heart. We have Little Horn, which is doable. The Spirit Heart protects us if we accidentally get hit by Little Horn. Wow, this is not a normal Eve run by any stretch of the imagination. Normally, you take damage. You get in your Horror Babylon state. Uh, you do more damage as a result. And you hope for some Spirit Hearts to keep you alive. But since the first thing we got was more HP... Ah, we're going to have to do this a little bit differently. Now, I was saying Eve was the first character that I did really well on, which kind of gave me a soft spot for the Eve the Eve character, because getting into Horror Babylon State early and staying there can be an extremely powerful way of getting the run done. Unfortunately, and since then, I've come to the conclusion a little bit more that, in fact, Eve is a really bad character, because unless you can get into that Horror Babylon State and do really well and apparently get... Ludovico Brimstone or a similarly crazy amount of damage on your run, you're not going to do uh, all that well. So you can see that this little horn fight is actually taking a while. We're already at three and a half minutes uh, and we're hardly doing any damage to it because it keeps freaking moving. There we go. Blew itself up. We did not get our deal with the devil, which was as expected, so uh, that's kind of fine, really. Um, so I think we're going to have to try and sell our HP, which is going to mean that we're going to need to protect it uh, until we can sell it. I'm going to do a few more rooms here. Because the Razor Blade we can use to just get rid of our red HP. So if we find ourselves in a stupidly powerful number of Spirit Hearts, maybe we can start using the Razor Blade to get ourselves down to Horror Babylon mode and thus uh, sort of accelerate. Do a bit of a slingshot around our Spirit Hearts, but without it... Well. Well. So I've come down on the uh, the Eve, the Eve love, as it were, if you'll pardon the expression, just because after a few Eve runs that are just <laughs> awful, atrocious, poor, bad, terrible, synonyms, uh, it 
loses its luster. We'll, I'll be honest. So we can't get into Bor Bora Habilon, is what I'm saying. Not straight away. So we'll just keep going. We've got um, we've got some decent upgrades. Ah, uh, we haven't really. I think SMB Superfan is a reasonably decent upgrade because we're nice and quick now, which can be a problem for an Ebron. Get rid of the spider. There we go. Money is nice, but not really helping in such small quantities. Let's just go. Five minutes is probably kind of a bit late to be moving on. Let me have a small sip of water. Ah, while we watch Eve be pooped on by presumably bullies at school. Now, the, uh, the, the razor blade. What does the razor blade do? As far as I understand, you take a heart of damage and you damage everything on the room. So it's going to be really good at crowd control. As you may expect. And it's also going to be really good to get us in the Horror Babylon state. But, unlike Blood Banks, I believe this is correct, unlike Blood Banks, it does count as red heart damage. A Blood Bank would be great, actually, now I think about it. We don't have the, um, we didn't come down with five cents, so we're not going to get an arcade, but we could accidentally randomly get Spirit Hearts, which is perfect. Or, what I was going to say is just find one. Oh, we might as well take the hourglass. I'm probably not going to get any decent value out of uh, the razor blade. Maybe worrying about the the non-redness of my tears. It's the holding of the razor blade that causes red tears. It wasn't because we picked up SMB Superfan. Uh, no, no keys, no money. I'll use this here because I hate these things. Yeah, how'd you like that? Douche. Cool. Ah, I didn't realise the split ones also became slow, so that's nice. So we're going to be looking for tinted drops, we're going to be looking for money. <laughs> we're going to be looking for... Oh god, this is going to take ages. We may take some dumb damage here because uh, Gerda Jr. is particularly tanky, being a, a Gerdy, I suppose, so in the nature of Gerdies. And we have not yet... Oh, I did get hit, but... Dead bird, so can't be too salty, right? So it's in the nature of Gerd is to be as tanky as Fook. How did you... Hmm. Don't question it, it just happened. Look. <laughs> I'm finding it really difficult to predict where this Gerd is going to go. But we did take red heart damage, and we got more fucking red HP. Please let me sell it all. Oh, it's, of course it's freaking Krampus. Why wouldn't it be Krampus? I got stuck on a corner. That's okay. No. Just no, bad Krampus. No turny. Die. Good. Good amount of damage there. Uh, that fire's still alive, so maybe we should not get hit by it. There we go. The lump of coal is actually probably the best pickup here. I think, to be fair, I would have liked to pick up Krampus' head as well, but. I think we need the damage more than we need the longevity there. Two of diamonds versus death. I'll keep the two of diamonds. For now, I won't even take that. <laughs> I know, call me crazy, but uh, no, let's just leave. We need to do boss rush. Where are we going? Mom's mom, mom fight, mom fight. Wow. Right, we need to start paying attention. Shape up or ship out. That's what they say. I'm gonna use this here because I hate these. Uh, I hate these silkworms quite a lot. I'm going to ignore that silkworm and take the opportunity to get rid of this thing because it's actually on the board. Careful. Well, we got a devil deal, but it wasn't devil precedent, so maybe we're looking at an angel run. I expect not to do necessarily quite so well because the previous floor devil deal may have been more valuable for us. But we got hit too many times, so tough, I guess. Yeah, you can see where the luster comes out of Eve. Even if you do really well in an early Eve game when you first get the game, you quickly start to see how starting off weak and not being able to join the Horror of Babylon uh, train contingent. Ah, oh, we do have an arcade though. Let's, let's go in there. Why not? Uh, we'll play this thing first. Oops. Can I make sure to give him two... Uh, to uh, 2 HP with every 
one HP. That is, you can play him twice with one HP as worth of play. Oh, a look upgrade. So now we're Horror Babylon, so we're going to be a bit faster, we're going to be a bit stronger, but we're a lot less survivable, so... Um, if we really, really need to, I'm sure we can pick up some red HP, but I'd rather avoid it. And you can imagine how powerful something like Dark Bum would be for an Evron. But, you know, we really need all those upgrades. Uh, all those standard things as Eve. It's the same as a Magira, basically. You have to get strong quick. But, unlike a Maggie run, you do have a built-in way of getting there. You just have to have the opportunity and, you know, cojones to actually do it. Which I didn't. <laughs> we probably could have done better on the first floor uh, to get ourselves into Horror Babylon and then stay there. But don't forget there were no... There were no uh, Tinter Drops on the first floor, so maybe we could not have... That was a pretty pretty decent set of dodgings that I just did there. Just kite these enemies in the right direction. Good. The bombs could come in useful if we can find a tinted rock, which I'm going to keep harping on about, even though, you know, everyone by now knows exactly how it works. Robo Baby 1 is a lot better, in my opinion, than Robo Baby 2, because Robo Baby 1 actually shoots things, whereas Robo Baby 2 flies around the room not really shooting anything at all. You can see our damage has improved, especially with Lump of Coal, of these ranges that we're Lump of Coaling. Another Gertie. Well, maybe we can just uh, put some bombs in there like this. Try and speed it up. Is this the... Uh, I think this may be the Gertie that only produces uh, adversaries to play against ads. Which means we don't have to worry about doing that silly dodge, but we do have to worry about these flies that shoot us when we can't see them. I'm not even going to use the hourglass, because why? Been doing some okay damage, that didn't take too long. We only used one bomb. Uh, oh, well, I'll ruin my horror Babylon for the next room, but oh, we might as well go all out and get some more cash then, eh? We're ahead of the curve now, because we skipped most of the previous floor, so I'm going to try and do some good work on this floor to try and keep our, keep our uh, points in the running. We obviously need to get to Boss Rush, but the fact that we're not going to get past Boss Rush, specifically to Hush, yeah, means... Brilliant, thank you. Uh, means we have to make the most of the 20 minutes before Boss Rush, so we're going to be trying to get to Boss Rush and no further. Like, uh, bang on 20 minutes, basically. Spend as much time as we can, or need to, to do as much as we possibly can during the rest of the game. So much money, but not much opportunity to spend it if if greed's going to be hanging around in our shops instead of you know, value. Greed and value. Two horsemen of the apocalypse. I suppose if greed is a deadly sin, then value is the, the sort of the offsetting virtue. We'll, we'll go back down to the, uh... I'm assuming this is costing us, you know, damage penalty points, but I'm doing it anyway because the Horror Babylon thing is so valuable right now, and I got rid of... Possibly not a great idea, but I did get rid of, um, my... Razor Blade. Oh, wow, yes. <laughs> yes. Right, good. We can fly now, so we don't need to worry about this bastard's... Let's, uh, let's slow him down. We don't need to worry about his creep or anybody else's. Apparently slowing it down does not have any effect on how far or fast it jumps. Uh, that was not creep, so it was a bit, a bit risky of me to just stand there and watch it. We want to keep range, we have a lump of coal. So the further away we are, the better we can do. And we can shoot right across the screen, so I think that's probably very valuable. Uh, you're going to be the one that oh, shoots uh, spiders, do you? Okay, then. We did pick up two range upgrades, but I think we should probably not pick up any more if that's going to be the way the game wants to play it. Ah, Spirit Heart is perfect for us right now. The Eternal Heart will mature into a full heart, of course. Great, perfect room. And therefore ruin Horror Babylon on the next floor, but you can't win them all, huh? This is a much easier room if you can... Oh, excuse me, if you can fly. Okay, we're, we're done for this floor. We haven't, we've got the one bomb. I'm not going to waste it on looking for a 
super secret room. Could really be anywhere. Two of diamonds is still available. I, I was tempted to use it before we went into the arcade, but I thought, you know what? The arcade is going to give us more money than we spend on getting into it. So, uh, where's the... Here it is. So, I think I made the right call in keeping hold of it, because we've had nothing to replace it. I'm not going to jealously guard it. If we get something better than it, it's, you know, it's out the window. I'm going to use it straight away. And we're only a few cents away from full, full sense, as it were. Oh, let's do it. Um, but... We're probably going to spend some money before the end of the game, so we should, if we can keep hold of the two of diamonds and get to 99 cents at the end of the game, maybe we should do. I hate these knights, by the way. Any enemy that has a, an invulnerable area that you can't just shoot until it goes away is one of my least favourites. And these things, wow. Not doing themselves any favours. There we go. And one more these things. Also enemies that teleport. Basically every enemy in the game I strongly dislike. At least we can fly. We don't have a huge opportunity to get rid of this HP that we picked up, which is unfortunate because you know, uh, we, we want to because it's making us weak. Our HP, our health, weakens us, which is interesting. I suppose there's a strength and fortitude as different characteristics. Uh, hearts? No. Nope. Unfortunately, that doesn't take red hearts away from us, so... We can't use the self-sacrifice room in that situation. Being able to fly is super useful. Balls of Steel is amazingly good. And there's another spirit heart here, so... I feel like this daily challenge run is not necessarily a challenge, it's just a normal Eve run. We've had a couple of curated ones recently. Oh, hello. You managed to hit me by some... Freak of nature. What have we got here? I can see forever. Can see forever. Pills are good today. I'm pleased with this. Often you can get runs where all the pills are garbage and just take all your HP away. Getting hit a lot. Ooh. Stop getting hit. It's as simple as that. Stop taking damage, please. I'm not sure what the trick is with these fuckers, as you can tell, because I got hit by them. I think half the trick is do more goddamn damage and stop being so weak by the death swap. Okay. You know, reasonable request. Possibly. Right. That was lame. Well. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's even worse than I could have possibly imagined. I'm not proud of what just happened in this room. Everyone get out of my way. Don't you know who I am? I am Eve, whore of Babylon. Okay. Whatever. We might as well pick up all this HP. Having it is not hurting us any more than it was already. Question marks. Look down. Range up. I'll take the two of diamonds and take I can see forever for the next floor because I have a strong suspicion. Oh, I probably should have used it after this room, huh? Never mind. I have a strong suspicion that... Uh, pardon me? Stay. I think that was fate. <laughs> Shot it back at us. Uh, I don't care. Hello. Wow. I've not played well, I'll be the first to admit. Uh, all the stuff that I've done wrong, I've done wrong myself. It's not like the game... Well, the game has not given us a, a very strong run, but then again, I squandered my first first world deal with the devil. I've not stayed in the horror of Babylon, etc, etc, blah. Oh, I haven't been to the item room. Let's do that. Okay, empty room. That was a nice, easy few points. Let's go in here. D20. And a re-roll. Ah, let's take the D20. Because it's better than this, and then we can maybe... Hmm. Nope. Oh, I re-rolled in for me. I didn't mean to. These are all bad now. <laughs> I'll do it. This could be good. We've got Spoonbender, Firemind, BBF. Uh, B it. B... Yeah, BBF. Number one. <laughs> okay. We're going to keep... We've lost fate, apparently, so we can't fly anymore. So we're going to have to be very wary of that, because I'm going to forget walk-on spikes. Take creep damage. But I'm going to keep the D4, because... <laughs> and whimper slightly whenever I get into a, a minor kerfuffle. 
Spin Bender, would you like to maybe... Yeah. Actually, do, do what you do, which is to get close to enemies, no? No. Spin Bender had no intention of actually doing its job just now. I've definitely got it, yeah, it's on the list. We've got Sad Bombs too, so we should use that. If you get Brimstone on this run, I'm going to be super duper happy. There's a, a black heart, which is cool. Provided the Spoon Bender actually wants to you know, do its goddamn job. Really? Look at this shit. Yeah, that's more like it. Let's fight the boss. Uh, so we're not going to do boss rush, so this is going to be a poor show. <laughs> I've only just realised how long we've spent on this floor. Where did the time go? I really couldn't tell you. Well, this won't be our best daily. I probably could have played a lot better, but I didn't practice. I was going to do a practice run, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to play. So unless we get immediately after this, no deal with the devil again. I haven't done that badly, game. Come on now. Throw, throw me a bone. Throw me a boner. It'd be great if there was a card like the uh, Joker card that got you into boss rush. Think about it, Edmund. What do you think? Hmm? What's happening? Reroll. I can see forever. Take it. Ooh, Tech X. This is pretty nice. Dry baby. Yep. I'm a fan of that. Uh, Roid Rush. Yeah. Speed and range. Got Sagittarius, which doesn't really help with Tech X, but I've got it. Mom's wig is doing really well. I kind of. Don't feel like I should re-roll this, especially not with the effort, uh, with Hive Mind, so. We've got the Beasley Bub transformation. Well, we did okay, <laughs> even though 20 minutes has passed, so that's that done. I wonder whether we kept Horror Babylon. Don't really know. We can fly again anyway, so that's reasonable. I'm not going to re-roll this, I'm just going to go. You know, if I'd known we weren't going to do Boss Rush, I probably would have done better on previous floors, but... You know, you try to min-max to do better, and you fuck that up. <laughs> oh, gold. You see how fast that thing charged it is? And then you try to... Ooh. Hoping it was like a five room or something. Plenty of cash, though. Brilliant. Uh, and then I tried to, you know, make boss rush happen, and boss rush didn't happen, and then I tried to make the most of a floor, and it didn't happen, and now we're in this position, so... It is what it is. We're reasonably strong now, at least. We'll go back for that. Probably going to have to. I'll do it now. Bonk. Stuff. Stuff is a thing I like. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, here's the mom fight then. So, wow. <laughs> Stranger Tractor is not my favourite thing in the world, if I'm honest. Did you find our item room? We did. So I'm going to... Hmm. I think it might be worth trying to find maybe an Awas rune. I know it's a long shot, but if we can do one extra floor, we're probably going to extremely make up for the fact we didn't do boss rush by a lot of points. So let's see if we can find a super secret room. Where would it be? Probably over by the boss if I'm... My first guess is near the boss, as usual. Uh, we've got I Can See I Forever can on. See forever. Right here. Huh? here it is. Uh, not really what I wanted. No rune in here. Let's try the other secret room, which we will find just by wandering around. If we don't find it, we don't find it. It was a short run. That's the, that's the second time in a row that I've had the opportunity to go to Boss Rush and then completely failed to actually make it work. But Penny, great. Well, let's fight Mom. Fight Mom, end the run. Tempted to do a normal run. You know, just to get the series moving, the unlock series, the main series. Pete's not here. The only reason I'm not doing it, and it's going to sound lame as fook, but I can't be bothered making the uh, the thumbnails. <laughs> I've got the one that's got me and Pete on it, but I haven't got the one just for myself. Mum, foot, no? Tech X is a pretty decent, pretty decent item in my opinion. Did get a deal with the devil. Wow, gee. <laughs> oh, you jackass. What is this? 
the one time we could have got the best use ever out of the shovel. And we're stuck. <laughs> this is horrendous. Oh, I hate you, game. We can't, we can't, we can't, you can't do it. Oh, that's the worst. What terrible timing. Well, now I'm going to be intrigued to find out what it looks like for other people. For example, for Nor for example Northern Lion is probably going to do pretty well, right? NA. Is it broken? 1650. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Northern Lion is probably going to get the first floor deal with the devil, right? So, if we watch Northern Lion's run, we will be able to see whether we get the same devil deals, but okay, uh, uh, later, one floor out of sync. If we do, then I would have got the shovel on the previous floor, and Northern Lion will have a stupidly good score, because... Um, because he would have had a charge on the shovel in order to get out of that floor. Now if I look at these, we have we have some people who have done so many points which would lead me to believe that you can get this shovel and maybe a teleport card? Or you get the shovel and then do boss rush and then go down. That would have been perfect, but we were too slow. We were too slow, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next one.